everybody, how's it going? It's me, Worst Effing Gamer, and I've got another Awakening video for you guys today. It's your boy, Boris, the boring one, and uh, we're actually going to find out what this guy is actually going to do, obviously, when he's awakened. If he's got some hidden power inside of him that we don't really know about, I will let you guys know right now after this Awakening video, but... So far, I've not used him a lot, even though I've gotten some good team compositions that people are using him in the arena. So, we'll see what the Awakening will do for the Spirit of Winter. And you guys already know I love my Freeze team, alright? Because I'm always trying to improve on my Freeze team. But, for now, let's go right ahead, guys. I've already gotten part number one complete. We're going to go on to part number two. Alright, part number two is Tidal Temple. The Bountiful Caverns. Let's just jump right in there. Jump right into the Bountiful Caverns and sweep them up. Because I've already completed four out of six. And boom. Booyaka shakalaka. There we go, guys. It's already done. Complete part number two. Let's head over to part number three. And do it very nice. Very slowly. Very seductively. Without anybody dying. So, um, you know what? Don't worry about me dying. Because I will go ahead. And I'm going to use some of the older heroes in the game. My OGs. My OGs heroes in the game, man. These are the original heroes that we used to use. Tholin, Seraphin, Baltor, and the Doctor. Doctor Zeno. He sure got me through a lot of hard times, Doctor Zeno, man. Doctor Zeno, you are the freaking man. But you are dumb as a rock. Hurry up! See, that's what I hate about Doctor Zeno. The battle is over. Everybody's gone. And he's... Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call in the middle of my recording here. So let's go ahead. Come on, take them out. Booyah! Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Fast motion in the ocean. There we go. Come on, Dr. Zeno. You see what I'm saying? A straggler. All right, let's go ahead. Let's use all ultimates and just time this well. Boom! There you go. Don't forget, Boris, you have to time it. That's kind of why I don't like Boris, to be honest, is because... His ultimate is very RNG dependent. Oh, but I do love his celebration though. Look at him. Look at him go. He just goes back and forth. But yeah, his ultimate is very RNG dependent. One time it'll hit perfectly. One time it'll hit too far out. One time it's too close. And you just never know when it'll be a good, perfect ultimate. But let's just go right ahead right now, guys. Let's complete this. And let's see our boy transform. Go. Woohoo. All right, that's something right there, actually. I very much enjoy that. Boris, I'm liking the way you look right now. Hmm, but this doesn't look like it changed at all. Uh, what? Damn it. I really don't remember what the hell he looked like before. Because I don't feel like he's changed at all. Unless this is the same glitch as Tashi's was. Could it be the same glitch? Hmm. I'm not really sure, but there's obviously a big transformation from there to there. So I'm thinking there's a glitch with the card right now. So let me see. Yeah, there's definitely a glitch. Okay, we got it. Same glitch as before. But don't mind that. Let's go ahead, guys. Let's... We've unlocked wounds. We don't worry about that. Let's just go into the ultimate and see... Not the ultimate. Let's see what this cold revenge is all about here. So Boris curses any enemy... Who kills them, afflicting them with frostbite. Enemies suffering from the frostbite will take damage over time for the rest of the wave and be unable to recover health. Okay, that's actually not a bad ultimate. I mean, why do I keep saying ultimate? That's actually not a bad awakening at all. It's very usable. That's actually really usable. But the only reason, the only way it's going to be usable is if it's really powerful. Meaning, whoever kills this guy, it's pretty much death if that is what it's all about then it'll be really good but if it's not then it's not gonna be good but let's see deals a base of 345 at this point that's actually not too bad that's a lot and um once i really upgraded all the way up it should be a lot more so okay it's promising guys it's very promising very promising because if you use them in the arena and your opponent jumps back there and tries to kill them quickly you know volko all the other heroes that are doing that right now. Batman. Da -da 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 -da. And um, it might work. So let's go ahead. Let's see what, uh, what what else we can do to this guy. huh? All right. As always, let's go ahead and let's forge this awakened item here. Let's blow some cash. Blow some gold. Gold, gold, gold. Hmm. So I'm just thinking about my last two awakenings. We got Boris here and I awakened Tashi. And I'm 
To be honest, I'm liking Boris's a lot more. I think this makes him a lot more usable than than Tashi's ultimate did. I mean, Awakening did. But still, don't know if it's going to be a must-have. Alright, I don't think it's going to be a must-have, but I definitely think it makes him a lot more usable. I still don't like the, uh, the ultimate being so unpredictable. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. But let's go on into a battle, guys. All right, guys, so let's go ahead right into a real battle here. Let's see what's going to happen. We are facing Batman. We're facing Mira. So we should see a good result here. Let's see if they can take him out. All right, Haruk. That's not good because Haruk trapped our Mira here. But his Mira is about to attack. I want them to kill Boris and see what's going to happen. But don't kill Mira. All right. Oh, shnikes. Okay. They're all literally right around him right now, but they're not really attacking him. See, they attack Mira. Oh, she's dead. Boris is dead right now, and I don't even know who killed him, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know if there's a sign over their head that says this guy killed him or not, but it looks like it's only Batman left. And it's two on one. Can my Batman do this? Can he become a hero in the game? Yes! Oh, he saved me. No! That's not good. Battery's low, guys. So <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's finish this off here. Let's see what the hell happened with Boris. We got the win, but... Boris? Boris? I have no freaking idea what the hell he even did. Didn't do much damage. Did he get any kills? Hell no. Healing? He doesn't get no healing. Damage received? I mean, he got it. So all stats point to him. Not that good. But we got the win. It could be because of Batman, obviously. <laughs> That's a big reason why we got the win. But, huh, I'm still thinking. Don't know if that's what it takes, guys. We'll have to do more testing. All right, guys. So there you have the Awakening for Boris. Transformation looks pretty cool. Don't know just yet how the uh, Awakening skill is going to do in Arena. But I uh, will definitely do a lot more testing in my streams and all that good stuff. And use this guy a little bit more. And see if it will make a huge difference or not. I'll let you guys know for sure. But for now... I'm still very iffy on Boris, like I said, because of his ultimate, alright? I really don't like taking too many chances in the arena. You kind of want to assure yourself of the win. But uh, that team won, so I might have to try it out again and see if we can keep getting them, them wins, alright? But for now, I'm going to end this off here, guys. I will catch you guys next time on another Hero Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.